So this fight system is on about its third or fourth generation. It started out with a HUD that you wear, and then you could fight other people that had the HUD, which was a pain because not everybody had the HUD. So we have this new system. It comes with a boxing ring, and it has this system that you click. It will only allow two fighters at a time to play. And once they're on, it automatically connects your HUD. It will list the fighters when there's two. Now, with this system, it used to be left, right, made you punch, but it just became a spam fest. So first off, you cannot use mouse look. You will error its design not to use mouse look. You're never going to be able to adjust your camera too much because it has a camera uh, positioning that it puts on it. I mean, you can scroll in and out, but it will keep bringing you to that position in the end. Now your mouse button is your punch, and it scrolls through left and right punches, hooks and jabs. Now, what we have here is strength indicator. And what this is, is the lower your strength goes, the less of a punch that your opponent gets. Um, and it can go to a point where there's no damage on them if it goes too low. If you go under 10, it won't do any damage. You want to keep it, and there's also there's a wild card. If you're between 95 and 100, you could get a lucky TKO punch and knock them out directly there is a 1 in 20 chance that that can happen for all players. <clears throat> now, when you start to punch people, it actually pulls the two avatars together for three seconds, giving you more time to light up on them. The C button blocks. Now, there's kind of trickery to this. It lasts one second. And once you push it, it just does its thing. Holding it won't keep it up or anything like that. It runs for one second and it removes damage. So if you were to sit here and do it right while they're trying to fire up on you, and as you see, it doesn't take down your strength, only if you punch. So if they're sitting there wailing on you, you can just sit here and hold them off until they get their strength low. And then when their strength's low, hit them with that one too. And next thing you know, if you're in that lucky thing, you might knock them out cold. If not, you'll do 25 to 30 percent damage. A small body blow, which you, it works like this, and I'll even show you how it works. And what we have in the system is a series of two scripts. I'm not big in making things script heavy, and I don't want to show you too many, too many of my secrets. But as the damage comes in, see how this is 100? It's see this. That's the if it's over 93, you might get the luck out. It will it will throw you in there to see if you can knock them out cold. Otherwise, 90 gets you 10 damage. 80 gets you 15. 70 gets you 8. 60 gives you 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 10 gets you 0. And you can get down to 10 quick. <clears throat> and it will also slow down how fast the jabs that you use. There are certain jabs that go at certain speeds. So if you get down low, you'll find yourself swinging real slow. And they'll be able to just block you and wait and then pop you on. Um, it has jabs, hooks, double combinations. Now when you're moving around, as you see, you're fine there too. You're not going to run out of energy there. It's when you punch. And it builds itself back up. But I'll just show you real quick. You can easily sit here, do some punches. Now I'm five, four, okay. And now, now I'm not doing any damage. Um, so, you don't want it to do that. It has a walker in it. You must turn your AO off with these. If you don't turn your AO off, the fist won't go right. The walker won't walk right. But it's a unisex walk for made in the ring. So people don't slide around. You know when people use guns and things and they're sliding around? It's because their arms are locked and their legs are locked. I have... Um, where the legs are unlocked with the punches and then I made this independent walk for everybody so we get a good view you want a good view and you want this to look good not only react well but to look good and two fires at a time when the fight's done this will clear itself out so remember it's a D left and right just like your normal controls W and S C is your block and your mouse button is your, is your punch. And it will scroll through lefts and rights. Whichever one it decides to do. And then as you get down in strength, as you saw there, I just had a slow punch. Um, it, it will go down quite slow. And it can take a while to get back up. So you need to be careful when you do it.